Hello friends. I will explain in full how I make a billiard table under 100 US dollars. 100 US dollars complete from the table, billiard ball, to sticks and accessories. If you don't have a dining table like in the video, you can make a table frame that might cost 30, 50 USD. Here I give an example of cutting the side of the table hole with the remaining plywood material. The upholstery used is base fabric or if it is difficult to find the fabric can be replaced with fabric for bags, canvas, or other hard fabrics. Mark the boundaries that we will cut, to make it look neat in the billiard ball hole. Using glue is only an option for easy installation. Make sure there are no creases at the ends of the fabric so that the ball goes perfectly. I use large staples because I don't have staple guns yet. It is better to use staple guns because the strapless contents are larger and thicker.
Make sure if it is strapless always hit with a hammer so that the strapples result is stronger. Here is an example of the other side, the actual piece of cloth that was wrong, so the cut must be a triangle. Two row strapless for added strength and anticipation if the first row falls off. Sample results. Continue to get to the billiard table pads.
used leftover wood as an example, so the size is slightly different from the actual size. I bought the rubber in the local market. This rubber is usually used for car door edges and or others. I actually bought the rubber because it was hard and stiff, but I have a way to make the rubber soft and supple. By using Gandapura oil, Gandapura is commonly used for massage and causes a warm feeling after massage. Test it by pinching, if it leaves a mark, it means the rubber is flexible.
testing how the rubber soaking results in Gandapura. Another example that you can use use tires as a billiard table cushion. I'm here using used motorcycle tires measuring 14. Sand the rubber to the shape we want.
although it takes extra effort to make rubber billiard table pads using old tires. But the results will be in accordance with the extra energy that we spend. Can be seen testing used rubber from tires against cheap rubber eight US dollars. You can use a dampening rubber sponge commonly used on car door rubber. But rubber like this is not very durable but the results of the ball bounce will be better. Make sure the wood is tilted so that when the ball is at the end of the table it will be easier to hit it. Here the process that uses hard rubber.
continue to get to the making of billiard ball nets. Here for the support, first use an iron plate. The result is like this. Here because the bearing wood is small, the pallet would adjust to the size of the bearing wood. sure each side is smooth. Using two different ropes to make it easier to tell which one is the support.
tied like this as a boundary or distance and minimize the shear of the rope. Watch carefully I tie or not the rope. In two to three times you will surely understand easily. the result of the first row and continue to the depth we want. The rope knot is still the same as the first row.
for the knot distance not too far so that the ball that falls into the basket does not escape from the net. My depth results are 5 lines or about 13 to 15 centimeters. If it is according to the desired depth, we knot the last rope to tie the end of the basket. I made this takes 1.5 hours a basket or billiard ball net. This is an example I found on Amazon, as a reference if you don't want to be difficult in making nets. An example of an actual size billiard pad result. How to attach the pads to the billiard table? Quite easy, isn't it? Installation of Destrutta Net. The use of plate that made of its own as AA Net.
Iya dah biasa. Nah, gitu.